Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a nine month update on Harry's Infiltrator holster. In this video, you'll find out if my all time favorite holster still holds the crown after being my daily EDC for this long. Stick around and we'll dive into the details. Before we get into the video, if you're interested in purchasing an infiltrator holster, you can find a direct link to my Linktree page in the description of this video. On my Linktree page, you'll find a convenient link to the infiltrator holster. YouTube can be really picky on certain links, which is why I'm using Linktree instead of posting a link here. Now let's get on with the video. If you watched my initial review for the infiltrator, you'll already know that I love this holster. And I said this was my favorite holster to date. The reasons I thought this holster was so good were it has a minimalistic design, a built-in wing, it comes with a discrete carry concept model monoblock clip is very comfortable and if you add a wedge it becomes even more comfortable. Not only does the wedge help you in the comfort department but it also helps you not to print. The reason why I felt I had to make an update video for this holster nine months later is that I had to share something with you guys. I was so impressed on how this holster concealed carry a SIG X macro I said to myself the X macro really isn't that much smaller than a full-size pistol. So I had this idea to really put this holster to the test and see if I can conceal carry a full-size HK VP9. Once I got my hands on the infiltrator for the VP9 I was blown away again. I tried it on and you couldn't tell I had a full-size pistol on me wearing a fitted t-shirt and not only that it was comfortable too. Now don't get me wrong concealed carrying an X macro is more comfortable because it's smaller and weighs less than a full-size pistol but this holster makes it way easier to conceal carry a full-size pistol without printing. Throughout the two months that I've been using this holster with my VP9 I seamlessly integrated it into my daily routine whether I'm taking a long drive reaching down to grab something from the floor or just simply doing my everyday tasks. I've encountered no issues. This holster excels in providing all day comfort and preventing printing. One of the other outstanding features of this holster is its design when it comes to throwing your firearm. I can get a solid grip without the risk of banging my knuckles against my belt. It's a small detail but it does make a world of difference in those longer dry fire sessions. There's also a delicate balance when it comes to holster retention. You don't want it too loose or too tight and this holster strikes that balance perfectly straight out of the box. So to wrap things up here, after nine months of using the infiltrator to conceal carry a SIG X macro and two months carrying the full size HK VP9, I can confidently say that the infiltrator still holds the title as my favorite holster to date. Whether you want to carry a micro or a full size pistol, the infiltrator holster can get the job done with ease. Whether this is your first holster or you're looking for a new one, I totally recommend giving the infiltrator holster a try. I think it's a game changer in terms of comfort, functionality, and overall performance. If you thought the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a question, put it in the comments and I'll get back to you soon as I can. Also, if you're in the market for CCW insurance, check out Right to Bear. Link is in the description below. Use coupon code UBR10 to get 10% off your entire order. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.